Hello everybody, this is Tech. in this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you a little error that I found while I was trying to install Optifine and how to fix it. Now generally for this type of jar file you're supposed to be able to double click on it and it should open up the installer to this kind of application. Now it's not working and when I first downloaded this it was trying to open it by 7-zip by default. Now that's absolutely not going to work. So the first thing you could try to do, it might work for you, it might not, is go open with and then choose another app and then you're going to want to check that just if it does work that makes your life a little easier later and you're going to want to look for another app on this pc now to do this you're going to want to have the latest version of java so i'll just jump over here real quick and show you how to get that just go to java give that a quick google search or click the link in the description below go to java download and here you could click that but i would recommend going over here to all Java downloads and just downloading the offline file so then the installer won't have to download anything and you'll just have the entire file ready to go. So go to the Windows Offline 64 bit that will download, install it like you would any other application and then go ahead and proceed with this. Now once it's installed, you're going to want to go to Java, JRE, bin, Java EXE, open and as you can see, it still did not work for me. For you, that might work depending on what you're trying to open. And if that doesn't work, what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a batch file, kind of like what you would do running a Minecraft server locally. So to do that, you're gonna to want to right click, go to new text document. Now, when you have the option to rename it, what you're gonna to want to do is type run.pat. I already have a run file, so I'm just gonna do one for now. And then that will say, do you want to change the file extension? Yes. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is right click on this file, go to edit. Now you can edit, the, edit this in text editor, but I prefer notepad plus plus. And then you're gonna to want to pull the name of the file. So you're gonna to wanna to go rename, make sure you select the extension of the file, copy. And if that extension doesn't show, you could either type dot jar in here, or go into your folder settings and make it so the file extensions show by default. So here, you're gonna to want to type in Java, nope, not like that, Java slash jar. So it will open up that jar file and then the file name. So we're gonna paste that in there. And this does have to be in the same folder as your file, unless if you start adding directories and things like that. But for something like an installer, that's gonna be in the same folder no matter what, this does not matter. So once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to click on save, and then I get up my run file here, double click on it, and then it will run. Oh, you're not gonna to wanna to close this out. This is the system prompt that's actually running it and opening it. So here, you can see I have Optifine open, up, and ready to go. So that is what you do if you're having issues installing JAR files. Please stay tuned for this video on installing Optifine if you're interested. All right, I hope you have a great day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Any information I discussed, links, or anything like that will be down in the description below. Have a great day, and goodbye.